Now to NBC5 responds in the U.S. Supreme Court case that could have a major impact on consumers, and it's not related to student loans. It's a case about the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, an agency created to do just that, protect consumers. But a court has questioned whether the agency itself is constitutional. So what does this mean for you? Lexi Suter is now joining us with more on the case. Lexi? Yeah, Alex and Marion, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau was formed in the years following 2008's financial crisis and recession. Now, advocates say it's its protections are immense. The agency has recovered more than $15 billion for consumers since it was created. But now that all could be undone. From credit cards and mortgages to debt collectors, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is tasked with making sure companies are following the law. People getting cheated on their mortgages, on their credit cards, on a lot of their consumer borrowing. What this agency has done is it's been the cop on the beat. That is until last October, when a federal appeals court ruled CFPB's funding was unconstitutional in a case filed by two payday lending advocacy groups. Their argument? CFPB is funded by the Federal Reserve, not Congress, and that improperly shields the agency from congressional oversight and accountability. The Biden administration asked the high court to hear its appeals of that ruling, and the court agreed. It will also hear the arguments by the two payday lending groups at the center of that original case. Hanging in balance, every order and other action issued by the agency. Our financial marketplace. So, you know, your credit reports, um, your auto loans, your mortgages, all of those things could be affected by a, a bad ruling, right? And, you know, there would be widespread economic uncertainty. The Consumer Federation of America points out there are other regulating agencies like the FDIC that are funded the same way as the CFPB. The high court's ruling could impact those agencies as well. Advocates say they are already seeing ripple effects from this past ruling, including some companies that have already stopped following rules in place to protect consumers. We've already seen um, a few repeat offenders, so um, bad actors who have broken the law multiple times, um, say that they don't need to follow regulations. One example is MoneyGram, a transfer service millions of people use, including many immigrant families. Last year, the CFPB found the company was violating federal laws by stranding its customers who were waiting for their money stuck in limbo. CFPB alleged MoneyGram failed to accurately disclose how long it would take to make funds available to the recipients abroad and hit its prices. MoneyGram was taken to court by CFPB and denied the allegations. But after the recent ruling, MoneyGram's attorneys argue in the ongoing lawsuit that the agency's rules are void and unenforceable. MoneyGram told us it continues to comply with CFPB rules and all other applicable laws and regulations, but that the CFPB suffers from structural flaws due to its unconstitutional funding. A judge was forced to freeze the case until the Supreme Court's ruling. They provide money transfer services to millions of people. So those millions of people are now possibly at risk. And consumer advocates say cases like that are what's in the balance in this Supreme Court's case. Arguments are expected later this year, and a final decision may not come down until June of 2024. Lexi Suter, NBC5 Responds.